Hey fellow Star Warriors, what's up? This is Sky Guy 501 signing back in. And uh for those of you who have the first membership, this is in a little bit late. But for those of you who've uh, the the official release for Ruby Volume 5, Episode 1, is finally released to the general public on YouTube and the the official website and all that good stuff. Uh so today that's what we're gonna be reacting to is the start of Ruby Volume 5 officially. And we're gonna react to this thing. I hope it's. I hope this is gonna be a good season. I'm very much impressed with how uh, Volume Four turned out, and I I really love the other volumes, of course, too. But we'll see how this one goes too, and uh, if Oscar slash Ozpin meets up, uh, see they see he seemingly meets up with uh, Ruby and the team. We'll see how that goes, and I'm especially interested in seeing if the old Team Ruby gets back together again this uh, volume or season. Or at least by the end of the season, or who knows? We'll wait and see. Anyway, let's get right on to it. And of course, you can find again. You can find it on YouTube. I'll I'll provide I'll I'll provide all the links in the description below. You don't have to worry about it. And definitely uh, consider checking them out and uh, viewing them for them for uh, for yourself. Uh, but anyway, here will here's my reaction to Ruby Volume Five, Episode One or Chapter One, depending on how you want to look at it. Let me move some stuff out of the way. And we'll begin in five, four, three, two, one, begin. I always forget to check the volume before I start. It's nice. The city of Mistral. Uh, it's about time. <laughs> Nora. Whose idea was it to walk again? Well, we did face many obstacles. Broken airships, destroyed settlements. Oh, like, you know, all those people and monsters that tried to murder us. <laughs> we were fine. Only one of us almost died. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Nora. So how much farther to Haven Academy? Almost there. I figured I'd take you kids on the scenic route. Not very scenic looking, is it? Well. They've got to get to the city of crap. I honestly think this is an anime. I would honestly consider this show as an anime, to be honest. Um, just the way the style is, the way they did that shot, very reminiscent so, of anime. How much farther? We're in the home stretch now. Weiss. No more stops from here to Mistral. Sorry for the long trip. Keeping us off the radar has been harder than I thought. Lots of air traffic around Northern Anima. It's fine. I just hope I haven't been a burden. <laughs> you and your money are more than welcome on this ship, kid. Is everything okay? I don't know. We're still over Lake Monsu. Shouldn't be picking up broadcasts this far from Mistral. Someone must be close. Mayhay, Mayhay, we are a small passenger flight and our hundreds is down. We always equipped to deal with this. Oh, man. The Grim hit us 400 clicks north of the southern shoreline. going to help them, right? What? No. I'm trying to avoid them. But they'll die. Look, if we picked up their transmission, I'm sure someone else did too. Besides, this is a cargo ship. She's not much good in a fight. I just want to finish this job and get home. Sorry, kid. My ship, my rules. That's kind of sad. It's 
it's awfully quiet. seem to be anyone here well I guess school isn't really in session right now maybe that's it no this isn't right come on <laughs> Me? Why weren't you waiting for us at the entrance? Uh -huh. Oh, right. Apologies. I guess time slipped away from me. <laughs> You're joking. Where is everybody? Ah, you must be the students Crow mentioned. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ruby Rose. Jean Arc. Nora Valkyrie. Lyren. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you all. Leonardo Lionheart, at your service. I'm afraid most of my staff is currently away until classes resume, but... What? Leah, you can't be serious. Who's guarding the relic? Oh, the children! Already know. I filled them in. What do you mean your staff is away? You filled them in? So, is this not going at all like anyone thought it would? <laughs> I love Nora. Unbelievable! <laughs> Total garbage! We can't, can't let, let them get, get away with this! <laughs> well, at least you two can finally agree on something. I was just thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy's Guys, still not approved. Everything's gonna be okay. Good evening, miss. Can I get you anything? Just a little time to myself, if that's all right. Sure thing. Just call if you need me. You need better security. Ow. Please, I just need to talk. What do you gotta say? How could you take the fall for them, Ilya? Corsic and Finnick blamed you. We confronted them tonight and they denied knowing anything and everything we found on your scroll. They talked about how disappointed they were to hear that you'd sided with Adam. But you and I both know they're guilty. You can't prove anything. That scroll might not have been enough to lock them up, but it's enough to sway the Faunus here. When we go public tomorrow, they're not going to stand for any of it. And neither should you. Your plan isn't gonna work, Blake. Please, just leave Menagerie before it's too late. You're going to have to make me. Say, Crow, this all seems very reckless, even for you. No, reckless is leaving one of the relics completely unguarded. It's not checking in with Oz for ages. There was nothing to check in about before the fall of Beacon, but since that day, Mistral has been in chaos. 
Vale wasn't the only kingdom to suffer that night. Everyone was watching. Every house in every kingdom saw that poor girl ripped to pieces, saw monsters crawling over the city, and Lysian knights attacking citizens. And then nothing. You could feel the dread in the air. With all that negativity, you can imagine what it was like when the Grim came for us. Mistral's controlled territory is the widest reaching in the world, you know, and that makes it infinitely harder to protect. We lost so many great huntsmen, teachers from this very institution, and it's only gotten worse. What do you mean? We may have dealt with the Grim, but the Mistral Council still at odds with representatives from Atlas. First it was the dust embargo, now it's the closing of borders. I'm not sure what happened to James in Vale, but it seems to have only worsened some of his more unfortunate tendencies. And on top of everything, we still don't know where the Spring Maiden is. All the more reason we need the Huntsman and Huntress is here. Okay, okay! Things are bad. They're bad. But we can figure this out. Why is the Spring Maiden so important? I thought you filled them in. Mostly filled in. Look, there's a lot to cover, okay? I quit teaching for a reason. The four maidens each have the power to perform feats of magic. And they are the only ones capable of reaching the relics. What? The relics are each locked inside a chamber that can only be opened by a specific maiden. Winter for the gift of creation, summer for destruction, fall for choice, and spring for knowledge. There we go. Spring is the problem. Target. What her. happened to her? She was determined at first when she inherited her powers. But the weight of responsibility proved to be too much for the child. She ran, abandoned her training, everyone. That was over a decade ago. There's no telling where she could be now. I know. At least I have a pretty good idea. Are you serious? It's not exactly good news. What are you talking about? This is incredible news! After all these years? Where? I did some digging around. Looks like after Spring ran away, she was picked up by bandits. Specifically, the Brownwind tribe. Raven. Mm. Yang's mom? That's right. That's about where they've set up their main camp. It's where they fall back to after raids and scouting missions. Raven's managed to gain a lot of followers since she returned to the tribe. And I'm sure when the Spring Maiden showed up, it only made things easier. Well, Crow, I've got to hand it to you. With these coordinates, we can mount a retrieval force and head out in a few weeks. Weeks is not a enough. few weeks? right leo maybe you didn't hear me my sister has the spring maiden and i know where she is we need to go as soon as possible watch stop books over and perhaps you didn't hear me this kingdom is in shambles as soon as possible does not mean tomorrow it means as soon as i can convince the rest of the council that i need huntsmen more than they do Unfortunately, bandit tribes aren't very high on their list of priorities when the threat of war is just on the horizon. Then damn the council. We'll do it ourselves. You and I are trained huntsmen, and these kids aren't exactly pushovers. Yeah! <laughs> Perhaps there's a more peaceful way to approach this? We need to get Spring as far away from here as possible. But Raven isn't going to give up her most prized possession without a fight. Unfortunately, you and your sister are evenly matched, and I'm not the fighter I used to be. No offense, 
But these students and I can't take on an entire bandit tribe and a maiden that's no doubt had years to hone her skills. We need to be positive we can apprehend Spring, because if we fail, Raven and her tribe will scatter and we'll be lost. We get one shot at this, and it needs to be perfect. He's not wrong. One slip-up could mean... <sighs> you know, Oz wouldn't be happy with any of this if he were here. Perhaps you're right, but he's, he's not, not, and I'm doing the very best I can. There has to be something we can do. What about Cinder? She came with Emerald and Mercury from Haven. Do you have anything on them? We pulled their files after the fall of Beacon. Nothing but lies and forgeries. Yeah. Well, I can't say this has been a warm reunion, Leo. I'm sorry. I know you've all traveled a long way, but I will do everything I can to help. Sure. We'll stay in the city for the time being. Local comms are still up. Keep in touch. Come on, kids. It was nice meeting you, Professor. Likewise. Forgot about that. So, what do we do now? You four head back to the house. I need a drink. This is. Excuse me. We end the volume four. You know, I don't think they allow kids in here, Rick Squeak. Shut up, I'm getting there. <laughs> um I'm supposed to tell you I'd, I'd like, like my, my cane, cane back. back. Stop. Aren't you a little young to be drinking? <laughs> oh, water. It's hot out. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling me you're too young to drink? You look like a regular huntress and a beauty at that. You I'm better good. watch out. Thanks, you pal. Bucking. Seriously, not too bulky, not too lean, you're... Just right. Yep. Like I said, I'm good. <sighs> He's a drunk. your hair. Uh-oh. You don't touch the hair. Ooh! <laughs> yep. You don't touch the hair. So, what brings you around these parts? <laughs> Thanks. And I'm, uh, looking for someone. <laughs> Not many people come out here too far from the kingdoms. Only person worth noting around here is, well, Raven. Raven Bronwyn. 
Thanks again. Now, now, Missy, you don't want to go messing with bandits. They're a world of trouble. So I hear. <laughs> <laughs> Over? No. Oh. Your star's knocked out, buddy. I heard you're looking for someone. Oh, he knows where they're at. Ruby Rose here? Why? Well, I found him! <laughs> <laughs> I think her uncle could use some help. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I found him. What is going on out there? Can't a girl read her comics in peace? <laughs> Silver eyes. Who are you? Uh, uh, well, my name is Oscar Pine. Wait for it. <laughs> you probably know me as Professor Ospen. <laughs> <laughs> New intro! Oh, this looks awesome. This is... Who's that? Oh wait, that's a ball maker or a spring maker. Nora, Red, Blake, you, Dan, and that one guy, Ruby Weiss. Oh, and creepy lady. Oh, man. Oh, this is getting off to a good start. This is awesome. And this is actually an actual length of a you know, full length episode, so that's actually pretty cool. Usually the, it's, you know, divided into like, uh, uh, it's anywhere between 12 and 15, 17 minutes is usually Rarely is it ever like 20 minutes or even over 20, but I mean, I'm not, I'm not complaining, not complaining. This is just, this is awesome. That's awesome. Oh, I, I love the show. I love the series. It's awesome. Probably one of my favorite animes out there. Even if it's not done by Jap, you know, in Japan, if it's not done, I still consider this an anime regardless. I just, just, I mean, it's an anime to me. Regardless, I mean, you could throw your hate comments at me, whatever. I don't care. This is an anime, and it's freaking awesome. Whew. 
I mean, if you can't tell just from that for one of those first shots when they're going over the townspeople, a lot of anime do that when they're going over like a town and the people that live in it. That that is a specific shot. I mean, you can tell me that this is a inspired by anime, just the art style, the way it's done. I don't care. It's an anime, regardless. You'd be sub, dub, it's an anime, doesn't matter. And this series even has a Japanese dub cast, so there you have it. It's an anime, regardless. Anyway, if you like this video, if you like this reaction, certainly, it's probably a lot better than my, a lot of my other reactions, but I've been kind of, this is one of the things I've been looking forward to all year for. And I'm, the, the wait has certainly paid off. I, I love, I love this return. It, it's good to be back. Good to be back in Ruby. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and comment and subscribe. If you like this video, go ahead and do that. If you want to see more of this stuff, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, comment and let me know what you think will happen in the series. Uh, if you didn't like it, eh. Too bad, so sad. I, this is If this isn't for you, whatever. You don't have to watch it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This is SkyGuy51 signing out, and I will see you on the battlefront. Take care, y'all.